Common misconception about cochlear implants is that the surgery process actually destroys any natural or residual hearing the person may have. And while this may be true in the past, new methods of implantation actually preserve any residual hearing. This really wasn't a concern for us for my first son. He is profoundly deaf, so the sound would have to be as loud or louder than a jet engine right next to him for him to be possibly able to access it. My youngest son, however, his hearing loss is severe sloping profound, meaning that he has some noticeable reactions to varying levels of sound. This is probably a good time to remind you that deafness is a spectrum, meaning that some sound frequencies at certain levels may be heard, while others are not. For those of you still not totally convinced, here's a short clip of my youngest CI son without his processors on. Isaiah, hi bud. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Are you going to eat the truck? Nom, 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 nom. Isaiah. <laughs> like I said, deafness is a spectrum, and he still has access to his residual hearing even with bilateral cochlear implants. Now I know some of you may be wondering why we still chose to implant him with this level of hearing, and I will answer that in the next video.